It is my pleasure to introduce to you Remy Kanazi, a Palestinian writer, spoken word artist, longtime activist, and founder of Poets for Palestine. Please welcome Remy Kanazi. Every time I think of 9-11, I see burning flesh dripping off the bones of Iraqi children in Fallujah. Now Gaza. I tend to memorialize the forgotten, the eclipsing collateral damage of our unpunished crimes, and maybe it's because I'm a numbers guy. Because if I had a dollar for every time an Iraqi died since 2003, I'd be a millionaire. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I don't know who they hate more. The governments in the West or the politicians in the East who sell their souls quicker than the oil they export. Strong men who use Palestine as a tool to line their pockets and don't give a nickel to their people. Brooklyn governments who stitch mouth shut for a check from Washington and APEC. How can you use our prototypical anti-Semite if you're signing peace accords to oppress your own people? And then Orientalists and idiots want to talk about how we can't have democracy in the Middle East because of what happened in Gaza. A Hamas boogeyman wrapped in democratic elections. Rahm Emanuel wants to educate me and my people about democracy gone wrong. Why did he try implementing one in Israel first instead of bowing down the terrorists like his father in the IDF, while the third-rate racist European society that's imploding quicker than its moral standing in the world. And lightens like 1950s Afrikaners and slave traders just because the house is beautiful doesn't mean the bones you built it on have fully decomposed. The so-called Israeli left is about as alive as Ariel Sharon. I'm sick and tired of asking for permission or resistance from every point the left is too progressive. Anti-pointed leftists and progressives who care more about keeping a kosher than moving things forward. I put down my pen and waving fists to resist with college kids and Palestinians. Boycott and I best because who cares about preserving the living when governments are killing civilians? Complicity by silence reserve units from in Gaza. Your academics and scholars, theater groups and practitioners are part of the problem. And if that doesn't fit into your long-term plan of rejecting my right to return, I'm sorry. Maybe one day you return to reality, where my people have babies quicker than Zionists can concoct or even an option. I'm not looking for your sympathy. I'm not looking for your sympathy or introspective confessions. Won't sit on my hands so they lose oxygen like the people of Bilal and Rafa. Vote for Barack Obama and pretend that his 22 days of silence was golden. While well, amazingly, the children starved to death, surrounded by their parents' corpses. This. Can't be America the beautiful. A criminal with a few positive attributes doesn't alleviate genocide. Bombing Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iraq doesn't make you historic. A mix is blind and diverse is the one coming to the story. now excited about a president who broke history but not poverty, occupation, or corporate interests. I'd rather proudly walk through the graveyards of peace accords and build dialogue sessions than keep seeing my people just as occupied or third-class citizens. We are the gavel that will slam down like a verdict. We're not waiting for Israel, America, the Supreme Court to approve it. We'll boycott the by a caterpillar in your apartheid companies. We're taking back the right of return and keys to a country because we never actually go back to Europe or sit and open in our prisons. I'm not asking for your advice. I'm explaining the decision. You can stay here with us, but only as equals. It's not that you're Israeli, it's that you're wrong. That's why I fight for my people.